Hello everyone, this is uh, Mollus again, Mr. Mollus on um, MA350L. And what we're going to do today is go over lathe controls and parts. Okay, this is going to be the first part of your lathe demos. And we're going to go over the controls and parts. I want you to know the name of them. And that way when I say do this to that part, you'll know what I'm talking about. Alright, so each part I will name, and then in, in videos further on, we'll, we'll do the operation of the parts. Okay. So, this is our metal cutting lathe. Like I said before, in your first class, it's a Leblon, and it has a certain amount of parts and certain names. So, this main part here is called the headstock. This part in the middle is called the carriage and this part on the end of it here is called the tailstock. Okay. Now each one of these contains different controls. For instance, the headstock contains the speed controls and some of the feed controls. Your carriage contains the levers that will activate the feed and also your hand wheel so you can move it. On top of the carriage is the compound rest and the tool post. Okay, that's going to hold your your um, tools. Your tail stop slides back and forth, and it also has the ability to carry different tooling in it. Your drill truck and your live center and all that. Okay, so the first thing about the um, metal cutting lathe for the parts is three jaw chuck, okay? This is what actually moves, all right, when you operate the machine. It has a wrench like this that goes into the three jaw chuck so that you can open it and close it, okay? Now I'll be talking about that a little bit later. Chuck wrench, three jaw, tool post, tail stop, okay? Now, over here on the head stop, the speed control lever, this is a servo shift machine, okay, and it's going to use a certain way, to. we have to use it a certain way so that we use it properly, okay. It has different levers, like this is a feed reverse lever, this is the EF knob, this is your feed rate selection lever, down at the bottom is your ABC knob, okay. Moving on to your carriage, this is your cross feed. It makes, the, it makes the, the machine feed in this direction here. Like I mentioned before, this is your compound rest. Okay, we'll be using it to cut tapers. And this is your feed selector level, lever. Okay, it operates in two different functions. Okay, this dial is your on and off. This dial and this dial do the same thing at the same time. Okay, all right. Your tail stock has a hand wheel, and when you rotate the hand wheel, it moves this sleeve, this graduated sleeve, in and out. Okay. Also, you can move it to change your tooling in and out. Okay. All right. Now, in the next video, we're going to start showing how to actually operate the machine. But in this video, I want you to go over it again, and so that you'll know the name of these parts so that we can talk when you come to class when I say move your cross feed okay I want you to be, be able to identify what I'm talking about move your carriage hand wheel okay that would be this hand wheel down here that would rotate back and forth so they can move the carriage okay move your tail stock hand wheel okay your tail stock hand wheel on this one that would move your graduated sleeve in and out. So the different parts you need to know so that when I talk to you about it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. We'll be able to communicate and we'll be able to get on with the other operations that we need to do. Okay, see you in class.